from electrifying crowds, chants, drama, and wild reactions to goes and wins. Football is fun, but what are some of the best fan moments in football history? Let's check them out. The UEFA Euro 2016 was an unforgettable tournament for many reasons, but perhaps none more so than the Icelandic national team's incredible run to the quarterfinals. The team's performances on the pitch were impressive enough, but it was their fans who truly captured the hearts of football fans around the world. One of the most iconic moments of the tournament was the Icelandic Viking clap, a rhythmic chant and hand clap that became a symbol of the team's spirit and determination. The Viking clap quickly became a viral sensation, with fans around the world imitating the chant and using it to show their support for the Icelandic team. But it was the scenes in France that truly captured the magic of the moment. As the Icelandic team took the field before each match, thousands of fans in the stadium and millions watching at home would begin to clap in unison, building to a crescendo of noise and energy that could be felt throughout the stadium. The chant was a symbol of the team's underdog spirit and the refusal to give up their faces of adversity. The Icelandic team may not have won the tournament, but they won the hearts of football fans around the world. The Viking clap was more than just a chant or a celebration. It was a symbol of the power of sport to bring people together, inspire hope and joy, and create memories that will last a lifetime. For those who were lucky enough to witness it, the Icelandic Viking clap will always be remembered as one of the greatest moments in football history. But the UEFA Champions League is one of the most prestigious football competitions in the world. And in November 1993, Manchester United faced Turkish side FC Galatasaray in one of the most hostile and intimidating atmospheres ever witnessed in football. The Galatasaray fans have a reputation for being some of the most passionate and vocal supporters in Europe. And they live up to that reputation on this crazy night. As the Manchester United team bus made its way to the stadium, it was greeted by a sea of red and yellow banners that read, Welcome to Hell. The message was clear. The Galatasaray fans were not going to make life easy for the English champions. The atmosphere inside the stadium was electric, with the fans creating a wall of noise that made it almost impossible to communicate on the pitch. The Galatasaray fans were relentless in their support, singing, chanting, and cheering from the first whistle to the last. They created an atmosphere that was both intimidating and awe-inspiring, a celebration of football on their team. While the Welcome to Hell banners may have been intimidating, they were also a symbol of the power of football to bring people together. But this next fan moment is just wholesome. In the 2011-2012 English Premier League season, Manchester City and Manchester United were locked in a fierce battle for the title. Going into the final day of the season, Manchester City had to beat Queen's Park Rangers to secure their first league title in over 40 years. But things didn't go according to plan. With just minutes left in the game, Manchester City found themselves 2-1 down to Queen's Park Rangers. Their title hopes were slipping away, and their fans were on the edge of their seats. But then, in the 92nd minute, Eden Zeko scored a crucial equalizer, sending the City fans into a frenzy. But there was still work to be done. Manchester City needed one more goal to secure the title, and they threw everything forward in search of a winner. And then, in the 94th minute, Sergio Aguero scored the goal that would go down in history. It was a moment of pure magic, a moment that would be remembered by City fans for generations to come. The scenes at the Etihad Stadium were incredible. As you can see in the video, the crowd was supercharged and the field was invaded by plenty of emotional City fans celebrating their hard-fought title. The fans were delirious with joy, hugging each other, singing, and crying tears of happiness. It was a moment that transcended football, a moment that brought the City fans together in a way that few things can. For Manchester City fans, that day will always be remembered as one of the greatest moments in the club's history. It was a moment of pure emotion, a moment of pure joy, and a moment that will never be forgotten. Normally, the Stockholm Derby between Zhu Garden and AIK was marred by violence and hooliganism. The game was played in a tense atmosphere, with both sets of fans on edge and ready for trouble. But during the match in 2011, something incredible happened. As the game kicked off, both the Jurgarden fans and AIK fans did something completely unexpected. They fell silent. For an entire 10 minutes of the first half of the game, they did not make a sound. It was a protest by fans from both sides against media dehumanization, authorities, and exploitation by their own clubs. The silence was deafening. 
It was a powerful reminder that football is about more than just winning and losing. It's about community, respect, and sportsmanship. The silent protest by the fans was a powerful statement, a reminder that football is about more than just the game itself. It's about the fans, the community, and the values that we hold dear. It was a moment of hope and inspiration, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there's always room for change and progress. In early 2012, Manchester City played Everton in a crucial English Premier League game, but the game was overshadowed by something unexpected. A protester fan handcuffed himself to a post, causing chaos and disruption. The protester, a fan of Manchester City, was protesting against the club's owners, who felt they weren't doing enough to support the local community. He had planned the protest for weeks and had even managed to smuggle the handcuffs into the stadium. As the game kicked off, the protester handcuffed himself to a post in the stands, refusing to move. Security guards and police officers tried to reason with him, but he was determined to make his point. The game was delayed for over an hour as the authorities tried to remove the protester and restore order. The protest was a powerful statement, a reminder that football is about more than just the game itself. It's about the fans, the community, and the values that we hold dear. The protesters' actions show that fans have a voice and that they're not afraid to use it. The protester was eventually removed from the stadium and arrested, but his message had been heard. The protest sparked the debate about the role of football clubs in the community and Manchester City's owners were forced to take notice. It was a reminder that sometimes even the smallest of actions can have a big impact. So, do you know of any other incredible fan moments that we've missed? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.